throat. I'm afraid. <laughs> pray, everybody pray. Sean's gonna fly the drone. Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and today I'm here with a special guest. This is a good friend of mine, Chung Da. And you want to uh, kind of describe who you are and what you do? Okay, so I am a YouTuber, filmmaker, and I do actually quite a lot of like transition effects in Premiere Pro, so if you are interested in that. I will put that in the description. You guys got to go check out his channel. He's got some really cool like effects if you're doing video stuff. And he's also here today because... I got this. This is Brick Drone by Playable, and this is a Lego drone. So you can actually fly it with your phone, you control it, and you can use your iPhone or Android phone because it has an app at the App Store and Google Play. 54 pieces, so it's not a lot to build. I've, no, I've never even seen or heard of this thing before. Also, Scotty is licensed to fly a drone, so he is the only one who can do this. I don't know, I'll probably crash this thing, but the good thing is, if it breaks and falls apart, we can put it right back together because it's Lego bricks. Well, the propellers don't look like it. It has also, you can choose different colors. So I have now a blue one and there's a red and yellow. I like the yellow. Yellow's cool. So cool, we're gonna unbox it now. Here we go. No, it's like a sleeve. I like the box already. That looks like Lego cool. pattern. We're just gonna tear it apart. Like two layers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a remote. Oh, the remote. The remote is actually bigger than everything so far. Okay. So. Chinese instructions, English instructions. Oh, and it has a proper Lego manual. Drone assembly instruction, English and Chinese. It's only like eight steps on here. So you can see the remote, orange. It's like an engine, I think. Here's all, all the parts in small bags. Let's put it together. Motor. Okay, I'm gonna help you un open these up. Lithium battery, USB. This reminds me of the Tiny Whoop. There's a brand called Tiny Whoop where they make like super, super small drones that are like crazy too. And they can crash those things around, but this one, Oh, this is gonna be so interesting to see it fly apart. Okay, so this is the mid section with the light. Do we have like. No, this is like a guard, a protector guard. This thing doesn't look like a guard. Look at this, it's so <laughs> flimsy, flimsy, man. Yeah. This remote. Oh, we need batteries again. We just ran out of batteries. I'm using all the batteries for the mic, but no problem. Okay, so I have batteries just lying on the floor. This goes okay. in here. So you can put your phone on top. Okay, so probably you need to. Why do you need your phone on? Well, you have a controller. Oh, you have to <laughs> film it. Is, it there's no, is there a camera on this? There's no camera. There's no camera on this. <laughs> oh, there is a camera on it. Oh, crazy. There's there we a go. tiny, tiny camera on it. Dude, this is a, like a pinhole camera. This would be amazing. I wonder this, how this quality would be like. <laughs> to actually stick it in a Lego set. We use this thing to fly through one of my, we can fly through the construction site, try to knock over the crane. But check out the controller. The controller is like, like a ghetto Xbox controller. It's like, Weightless. This looks like you can probably fly it for like 30 seconds at most. Take all these out. These are definitely not Lego bricks. Much higher. Oh, much higher. Oh, we got tools, USB. It's all weird, weird kind of bricks. Install the motherboard. There you go, upside down. This one goes on top. Yeah, something like that. They put shadows on the manual, so it's like not really telling you where exactly where it's lining up. You're gonna have to guess that one, so if you screw up, it's all on you, man. <laughs> install four arms and a battery. A install blades diagram. Oh, those are the blades, so... No, no, on the blades, there's like a B2, yeah. A1. Okay. And probably this one so, is so B1. It's just, yeah, so it's just like because of the airflow. So two, two blades have to go like two directions, and two blades have to go the other direction. I need to know which blade is which. So I screwed up. Okay, you're the you're the machine guy. I'm gonna let him do the. I'm the Lego guy. I can put the pieces together. You're gonna do the wiring together. It's actually pretty hard to pull them apart. Don't break it now. We haven't even flown it yet. I do feel this plastic is softer than normal Lego. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bendy. Well, I can tell you right now, it, I've never seen this kind of brick, but it's tight. As long as it's tight, as you were saying, 
crashing it, it wouldn't fall apart that easily with having so many pieces holding the engine part. It says nose direction, black white line motor, red blue line motor. Because on like the image on the box, you don't see the wires, but. I sure hope you got the propellers on the right yeah. wires or else it's gonna fly all over the place. So you gotta read the manual very, 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 very carefully on this one. Even though there's only eight steps and we've already, I've already screwed up on the fourth one. There's Velcro, where's the Velcro? Yeah, we have uh, Velcro here. Oh. False advertisement, it still has to use Velcro to hold the battery and the motor. Okay, next step, install the module to fix the battery. So the battery has to go in now. So through the side and then go back. And then these pieces go on. So he's locking in the battery right now. Then the Velcro. And last part, last but not least, this, this which looks like it's not gonna do anything for it. There we go. Yeah. The brick, what are they called again? Brickadrone. Brickadrone. <laughs> Got my phone, checking out what app to get. Heliway FPV, that's what it's called. You need this app for sure. No ratings. We're the first ones to use this app. Oh look, it has controls on here too, man. Okay, go to the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi UFO. They really call it Wi-Fi UFO. <laughs> what does that mean? Set high, it says set height, set but high. There's, there's no T. H-E-I-G-H. <laughs> oh look, oh, oh, it's actually working. Yeah, it we got video footage on here, look at that. I don't know how to classify the quality on this thing. For ADP or like... But hey, that's a bonus. We had no idea you even had a camera on this. So you're gonna be the one to crash it first? You. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's recording right now. It looks really ghetto. I can't even see the timer on there. It's actually counting down. So pull down. Okay. Oh, look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's flying out. Okay, wait. Let's see if I can... Bring it back. Oh look, it's really sensitive. I can't believe it's actually worked. It's actually easier to fly than some of the other toy brands. Here we go, bring it back. There it is. Can we see that flying in front of us? Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, it's pretty windy. Oh, it feels nice though. It's nice and cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hover it. It's working pretty good. Like, I have to keep fiddling with the controls or else it's gonna drift. It's not like, it doesn't have any sensors. So it's actually doing quite a good job. Wait, because I'm flying backwards now. It always freaks me out when I fly backwards because I'm trying to film us. Yeah. Every okay, you see the light. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh. <laughs> Almost into a trash bin. <laughs> Almost went in the trash. Don't fly out the window. Whoa. Hey, we did a 360 right there. Yeah. Let's see if I can land it on the table. You need to calibrate like Wow, I got it back on the table. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, probably these left, right buttons. Yeah, there's all these buttons on here, but I don't know what it's doing. So basically, like with those older drones, or cheaper drones, you had like those up, uh, uh, where you can lessen the power of like certain motors. What's crazy is it's got like these functions along the top. It has like tracking mode, 360. I wonder if I can do 360, but maybe I might crash into something here. Let's see if I can fly it again. We have lift off. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> so the right bottom controllers are for like changing front, back, and left, right if it hovers towards that side. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend I'm flying it around you like that. It's just go like this, right? Once set up with like the right buttons, <laughs> you can get it to hover. Yeah, so I'm just kind of, but it's going down now. I think it's because you got like this. Oh no, that was crazy. I pushed down and just dropped on the table. Then, ooh. <laughs> yeah, the bottom, the bottom uh, controller section. <laughs> the other sections are doing it. Hey, I got it down. See, it pays to be certified. You can rotate this thing too, like. Cause that's like a rolling action. I'll push 360 on it. Oh, it just dropped down. We've flown pretty long with it for like a short 
short charge. So it's yeah, out of battery. Out of battery, yeah. So see how long it takes to charge? So it's about an hour to recharge the battery. Hour to charge the battery and it only lasted what? Well, we didn't really No, we didn't it. really charge it. <laughs> but we flew pretty long, I think. At least. A couple of minutes, like couple five minutes. minutes. So this thing can do tricks. It can shoot in 3D. It splits the 3D. I think that's like fake 3D. There's no way it's like real 3D. It's only that's one camera. 3D, fake 3D. It's for if you have the VR goggles, you probably yeah. get like a better. They probably throw up. It can do barrel rolls. It can do like 360, 3 degrees, 360 degrees. I'm pretty surprised though. I'm really surprised like how well it did for a little guy. I thought we were gonna be. I thought I was gonna be crashing all over the place. So thank you, Chungda, for bringing this down. So don't forget to check out his channel because he's got some really awesome filmmaking tips. Yeah, we'll get him to come back and do some stop motion of the Lego stuff behind me. Find out which apps are cool and which settings to use for that stuff. So thank you so much for coming down and showing me this toy. It's not broken yet. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, actually I was quite surprised with how well it flew for such a tiny drone or yeah, a Lego. And also his skill of actually you flying it without having calibrating anything on it also. So yeah, we'll see how well it actually performs in my hands because I haven't flew it yet, it's only Scotty, and I hope I don't crash it. <laughs> we'll find out. All right guys, until next time, brick me out Scotty. Boot. Just fly it man, go up. Fly it. There you go. You're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna Whoa. Kill the <laughs> I don't know which direction is. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Okay, it's Back. flying backwards the whole time. That's what, it, that's what it looks like in 3D. 3D, put on your 3D glasses. I'm the cameraman. It's recording directly on the phone. Now it's way better. Okay, it landed. Probably out of battery. <laughs> Like the sound of that? Like the sound of that? How can we jump to five though? We're going from, <laughs> we're going from three to five. Still loading. That's a big file, man. Okay, that didn't work. We'll lose subscribers like this because we're not pretty, we're not pretty looking guys and we have no girls with us, man. Stay tuned for part two where we take a look inside and give you all the details of the drone. And I wonder if we can fly our little mini figures all over the place. And thank you so much, guys, for liking Scotty's YouTube channel. He really, really appreciates it. So please comment more, subscribe, and like. And we'll take you on another journey soon. And also stay tuned for the online shop. And don't forget, subscribe here on Scott's face. Watch the other videos here. And watch even more videos you might not have seen over here. So take care, you guys. I love you so much. Please come back. Don't leave me here. I'm suffocating with this guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. No.